Hello, this is Paul from Foresight Tech. In this lecture, I are going to introduce the addition rule, um, which is an important rule to find the probability for complicated events, for compound events. Uh, what is the addition rule? So here the formula. Okay, so first we have a definition. For compound event, A or B, uh, A and B, Okay, so first we look at the definition. Um, so we use Venn diagram directly to show. Okay, what is A or B? If A is this circle, I means this is a set for A, and the inside is the element. Okay, or the single outer comes in A. This is even the A, and this is even the B. Look at it. These two even they are overlap together, right? So what is all? All means all together. I mean, so we need to put all the outer commas form a single set, see, and the every outer commas put it together. Okay, what that does that mean? If one outer comma is inside the overlap, please only count once, okay, only count once. And this is the one for A or B, okay. So what is it? A and the B? And the means what? And the means a and the B happen at the same time. Okay, where is A and the B? A and the B is just the overlap. Means what? If a car, if a, if a outer car is a, in the overlap, means uh, A happen and the B happen at the same time, right? Okay, or means either A happen or B happen is okay. That means the English meaning for all. So, uh, Look at the formula. So we can understand the formula now based on this Venn diagram. A or B means put the average. If you use the classical model, what you need to do is just count the number, right? What is the number A or B? See all these number, the middle the number and the B the number. One, two, three part. Okay, three parts added together. That's all the number. Okay. Uh, what is the right size? Okay, put it. The probability or the count in all the number in A. So in A, you would see part one, part two, right? Okay, two parts. What is the plus B? Part two, part three. Or if I give a name like uh, this part is one, this overlap is like a two, and this lap is a three. Okay, so we see the left is one plus two. See, here it should be the left. What is the left? It should be one plus two. Okay, we can always say the part one. Because okay, so part one, part two, plus part three. Okay, I use this circle. Means not a number. It's a part. Okay, all the number in these three parts put together means all. What is the right? Can we see what is the part A? Part A is uh, okay. What is the part B? A or the count A is part one plus part B, part two. Right. What is B? We can see it's part two plus part three. Plus two plus part three. So can we look at the both sides? And the right side we count the two twice, right? So we can see and this what we count twice. Okay. We cannot count count twice because only once. So how to do? We minus A and the B is what? So exactly we can see this is a part two. See two minus one. So we have one two left. Therefore the right side is one plus two plus three. So the left is also part of one plus two plus part three. So we can see this is what we call the addition rule. Okay, the formula tells us something. Okay, we can use this formula to any calculation about the probability. So we look at it in special case. This is the special case. Okay, so we have a special case. A and the B equals empty. This means empty. It means what? A is separated from B. Therefore, usually we call it disjoint. It's not a joint together. Disjoint. This joint means what? So A and B nothing, right? So that's zero. Minus zero means nothing. So therefore the left A or B, the probability equals part A plus the probability of A plus the probability of B. Okay, so this special case, this joint just add the two together. 
Okay, so this is the addition rule. I have two examples to show you how to use. Um, the first, look at it. Here is a six. Cited the side a die is a normal die, right? Rod find the probability. Okay, so he has a all. So where is a? This is a. If I say this is a even, this is even the b. Uh, how about the relationship between a and the b? Keep in mind, uh, row one die. Row one die, you cannot get a three or five at the same time, right? Means what? Means a three and a five cannot overlap together. This time is a, what? We just define is disjoint, right? Okay, this time is disjoint. And therefore, the addition rule tells us this. Okay, the addition rule at the record tells us this. So we're going to find the three or five, A or B is what? Is the probability of A plus the probability of B. And these three means you roll once to get a number three, okay? And uh, minus zero, you don't need to care. This is the addition rule at the special case. And then it goes what? You roll one, die, okay? You want to get the number three. So number three is the successful. How many successful? We use the classical model is one successful over how many total? Raw a uh, normal die is a six outcomes in total, right? Six. Okay. And everyone, you know, this is good to here, just a classic. Is the classical model formula, okay? This is a classical model. Uh, the same. So if you roll once, you get number five. Is only one out of six. Also the same. And then you add it together. What we get is two out of six. Simplify, get a one out of three. So one third. The chance is one third. The chance you get either two or five. Um, look at the second method. Classic model. We can directly use the classic model. If you don't think this is too complicated, I draw a Venn diagram. Oh, I draw a diagram. So look at it, I draw this diagram. Okay. If I say this is the example space S, row one die, how many outcomes? Six outcomes. Uh, you either get a two or get a either one, two, three, or four, or get a five, or get a six. That's all right. Easy to count. So the total is uh, six, right? Okay. What is the success outcome? What is our interest? In? Three or five? How to highlight the three or five is here. Okay. If I draw this, okay. This is uh, a. Uh, this is the event that we need to count. So if we say this is a, what is the number? The outcome number in a. How many number? Out, how many outcomes? Two. Okay. And then if we use a classical model, see, you pick a two out of a six, right? Pick a two out of a six, directly you get it. If we use uh, the classic the classical model, the probability of A is, uh, remember this, the number in A over the number in the sample space. The number in A is two. The number in the sample space is six. Simplify divided by two is a one third. Can you see? Okay. And the uh, they are exactly the same, right? So which method do you like? So probably you will say, uh, classical model is easy, right? Yes, uh, I think I think so. But uh, this is also useful. Keep in mind, uh, one more. Can you look at this example. Going to rent and pick one car uh, from a well shuffled deck of uh, 52 cars. Means we have a car, a 52 cars, we're going to random pick one. What's the probability? Find a joining a face car or get a hard car. Okay, look at this all, right? Uh, if I simplify joining a face car, I use a face. Okay, and joining a hard car, I use a heart. So, can we look at it? What is the addition rule? Okay, I directly follow the addition rule. Should it be, uh, if I draw like this, uh, it's like this up here. The probability. Uh, joining a face, I simplify as face. And uh, joining a heart or joining a uh, heart, right? This is the probability they ask. And then, or, see, this is A, this is B. So the probability of A, get a face car. 
plus the probability of B get a hard car and then minus remember this the probability you get a face and get a also a hard car okay that's the addition formula and then we're going to calculate it one by one what is the probability of face car do you remember the face car uh, how many face car okay so here is all the cars see how many face car each should we have four shoot each shoot we have three face car jack queen and the king three times four which means 12 right how many face car 12 so if we use a classical model is 12 face car out of total how many 52 cards so this is a classical model okay of course you know this is a classic classical model and then how many hearts a random pick one get a heart uh, you can think about how many hearts we have 13 hearts right okay the success file come how many heart 13 how many in total they are 52 see there's a uh, the chance to get a heart what is the chance to get a face and the heart you can think about the face our uh, face is all this and the heart okay and the heart how many face heart or heart face right heart the car and the face car so we only have a three so either is a heart the jack or heart the queen or heart the king so one two and the three right okay so if we're going to count there is a three that's a classic model and then divided by 52 okay uh, I put it then all together is how many it's a 12 uh, so we do this 12 plus 13 minus 3 right divided by 52 simplify we get a 22 out of 52 of course you can simplify right divided by 2 again 11 out of 26 this is the final fraction simplified um do you like it this way whatever we get these results we look at it the second way how do you use a classical model classical model directly okay I already draw this is all the chance okay what is the example space so random pick one car either hard one hard two hard ten hard jack queen king or diamond or club or spade how many in total everyone knows so uh, the number in the example space is 52 random pick one see one car and the second what is uh, this even draw a face Where's the face? See, all this is the face. Or a hard card. What is hard? If I'm going to highlight it, this is what we need. See? Can you see this? Okay, so that's all. So either hard or face card. Okay, so this is what we need. I'm going to count how many. If this is A, I'm going to count how many. So this is 12. This is 10. 12 plus 10 is 22, right? We can count. He has a 22. So it's 22, see? And they want you to get this happen is 22 out of 52, right? If you use a classic model. So, and the probability is the number in A over the number in S, classic model. And then number in A is 22. Number in S is 52, right? Success out of count divided by total out of count, so and then divided by 2, simplify 11 out of 26. Can you see? They are exactly the same. Okay, so probably you, uh, you can choose which one you do you like. Uh, probably you still like the classical model. Okay, so for most of the questions, really, okay, the classical model is easier than the addition rule. However, addition rule is good. Sometimes it's very useful. Okay, that's uh, oh, thank you.